Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. And this guy got the head start. The freeze never loses. The freeze never loses until oh, right there. Wow. Major League Baseball showing Great Britain an American fan favorite. The freeze made popular by the Atlanta Braves rarely loses, but he was a half step too slow. He usually dominates on the warning track even when he gives a huge head start. But on Saturday, Jason from New York pulled the upset and took the dub. Well, that happened during the third inning of a game that made MLB history. The Yankees and Red Sox are the first to play in the London series. One of the biggest rivalries in the United States played overseas, and tickets for the two-game set were sold out in less than an hour. So let's take a trip across the pond where the fans piled into London Stadium. The sellout crowd close to 60,000 in attendance. Prince Harry and Princess Meghan also didn't want to miss this. The first inning lasted nearly an hour because both teams couldn't stop scoring. 12 runs combined in the first, Aaron Hicks makes it 6 0 Yanks. But in the bottom of the frame, Michael Chavis gets a hold of one and ties it up with a three run shot. The hits would keep coming for New York. Top four now up 12 6. Aaron Judge is going to go deep to right. A two run opposite field home run. His seventh on the season, second since coming back from his oblique injury. The Yankees outlast the Red Sox 17 13 in a game that lasted four hours and 42 minutes. That was awesome being out there. You know, I wouldn't. Fans were great, you know, from the, the anthems on, and it was a pretty cool experience being out there. Scoring 30 runs, you know, that's, I think that's the, only, that's the only difference. That's something I've never, only ever been a part of, and just two good offensive teams, you know, just going at it. You know, we got a good ball club here with guys stacked from one through nine, just like they do. You know, they're defending champs, and what they've, you know, their type of lineup, their potent lineup, man, it's, I knew something like this was going to happen. So it was uh, just glad we came on the, <laughs> the winning side of that. Tomorrow, the two play at 7 a.m. Pacific time. Bringing it back to the States, an NL West rivalry taking place. Rockies hosting the Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw got the nod tonight. And Charlie Blackman, yeah, he doesn't have any trouble with the curve. He sends it into the trees and right. Kershaw can't believe it. We'll take a look at that. And the sixth tied at three. Bases juice Mark Reynolds. It's going to push this through the right side, and that'll play a pair of runs. Kershaw gave up five runs, four earned, and seven innings of work. The Rocks go on and win their second straight 5-3. More from the NL West. The Giants come back balls short 4-3 to Arizona. And in the AL, the A shut out the Halos 4-zip. To El Paso, where the Grizzlies were playing the Chihuahuas. Top two, Fresno's Brandon Snyder absolutely crushes the 3-2 pitch to left, and that leaves the park his 15th home run on the season. Same inning, Andrew Stevenson with the rope to right. That is good for an RBI double. And then it's going to be the top of the fourth. Here it is again. Stevenson is going to go the opposite way. That will bring in another run. The Grizz take the series opener 9-4. And in single A, the Rawhide falls 7-0 to Modesto. On the pitch, Fresno FC hosting El Paso Locomotive, who hasn't lost a road game yet this season. No score until the 63rd minute. Juan Pablo Capa with a cross to Jackson, who gets ahead on it. Los Soros up 1-0. And just a couple minutes later, they're going to do it again. But take a look. El Paso tries to play it back to the keeper. And Cutis Lawal reads that, beats him to the ball, takes it all the way to the empty net. For the goal, he'd score one more in the 84th minute as Fresno FC wins 3-0 and jumps to third place. It's a short turnaround for the Foxes. Their next game will be on Wednesday in Sacramento. We'll be right back.